Oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I was just checking up something myself, and speaking of which, MC here is uh, right now not focusing on the camera, so give me a second. Hey, MC! Huh? It's recording. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks, bud. No problem, man. Uh, hey, guys! Uh, sorry about that. I was just uh, looking around on my Switch. It was part of our commercial break. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but, uh, again, uh, welcome back to part two of our culture capture. Now, if you saw part one, we mainly talked about all the... Negative stuff. <sighs> Gotta say, say, kind of feels a relief to get all on my shoulders, but just thinking back to all that stuff, stuff kind of makes me sad. Yep, and man, that was really bad. But, uh, none of that here. Today, uh, for this part two, we're going to be talking about... All positive. So, obviously, like usual, we'll be talking about games, movies, uh, and anime. Or even the things that we checked out recently. Exactly. Exactly. Now, any movies and anime and st stuff that Ethan has watched will be saved for a special video series we're going to be starting called uh, Anime Showdown Binge Before the Showdown. Well, me and Ethan talk about all the stuff that we've been watching lately that yep. has been new. Yep. And boy, I think I have a couple thoughts to tell you guys. I do. But he'll talk about some of the stuff he's watched briefly here. Yes. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, I guess, first things first, talk about games. Uh, games, since we've been playing a lot of them this month, this month has been crazy busy for me, mainly. Yes, and of course, of course, we have. The, I have the first game that I start playing this month, of course. The game that did came out like last, last uh, two or one week ago, I'm not sure, I would say so. Alright, so recently, if you guys recently checked on the Nintendo Switch, just give me a second, I can go on my Switch and show you. If you see this here, I don't know if you can see it perfectly, but I'll do it my best. If you see this game, My Hero, My Hero One's Justice 2. Okay, so recently I've been playing it, not now, but just, like, when it launched. To tell you guys, it looks like it was a improvement game for the, for the, from the first game. So, the only problem is, though, some fan base out there is still not impressed. Yeah. Which, it kind of makes me sad, but, well, to be fair, because I haven't played a lot of Bendai Netco games in the past, I played some, but not a lot of them. Yeah, so that's fairness to Ethan, Ethan, but yeah, I will say it's an improvement over the first for sure. Yes, and MC did play it himself as well. Speaking of which, if you haven't already checked it out, me and Ethan have posted gameplay for both the regular battle and the story mode. So yep. if you want to, you can go ahead and check it out. However, I should warn you, for this one and it's, uh, and for the original My Heroes One Justice, it does contain spoilers for the actual anime, so I would... If you're trying to dodge those, I would dodge watching gameplay for that, like the plague, because then you'll get spoiled. Yep, that's exactly, because... Okay, so let's put it simply, guys. For the first game, it came out last couple of years ago, it actually goes to Season 1 to Season 3. Now for, for My Hero Justice 2... One Justice... Okay, My Hero 1 Justice 2, it takes place all in Season 4. Yeah, so it's a bit different. Uh, it's a bit different. So if you don't want to see spoilers for any of those four seasons, I would not play these games until you wa watch the anime. Of course, unfortunately, due to My Hero Academia being a little bit delayed, uh, thanks to this stupid virus, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> you might be a bit behind if you're waiting for the English dub. Yep, I'm already caught up on the English dub. Now I'm just waiting for the next episodes or English because I liked English on the anime, so. I'm going to have to be waiting for that. I did hear there was a few latest episodes. We're going so good right now. I heard. Yeah. But Ethan's waiting for the English stuff, so unfortunately, poor guy's going to have to be a bit more patient. But, uh, yeah, if you don't, don't, don't mind spoilers. I mean, uh, don't say me anything warned you, but we warned you. <laughs> uh, but it is an improvement over the original for sure. 
Sure. Mm-hmm. Like you, like I said, if you are still skeptical, you can check out gameplay. I'm playing the regular regular battle, and Ethan tries out the story mode. Yup. So be sure to check that out. Okay. We'll give you the link on the bottom. Of this. We'll give you. We'll give you the links to it. Uh, and also, uh, there's a, be a card that pop up about uh, about Vipin's head right about now. <laughs> so be sure to check it out. Yep, or my fingers pointing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, next uh, uh, next up for me, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Now I gotta say, this is coming from a long time Mystery Dungeon fan. It is a phenomenal game. But extremely harder than I remember. You know, that has just been a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, then again, the last one was Super, which was 2016, so really it has been a while, but still. Uh, uh, it is a phenomenal game, but sheesh. Ish, if the original was this hard, uh, odd, then I, uh, I kind of feel the pain, man. <laughs> yep. Uh, but it is great. Great game, great music, great soundtrack. I have posted gameplay of launch footage, footage of Mystery Dungeon. And I continue off when it, uh, where I left off in the demo. So, spoiler warning, warning for those who have not played it. Uh, but um, if you have, uh, have, have don't mind it, go right ahead and check it out. Out, out. Again, cards right above my best friend's head if you want to check it out. <laughs> again, there is another one. And it's gonna be on the description below again. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, be sure to go check that out if you want to. Um, let me see. There is another game too. Um, you have played recently is Animal Crossing. Yep, Animal Crossing New Horizons launched the same day as Dune Eternal. Now, for those who are wondering, wait, didn't Ethan get Dune Eternal? <sighs> okay, guys. Originally, I was. Planning to get the game. I am planning to get the game in general. Okay, so let's put it simply. Okay, at first, before it got delayed, till this month, of course, I had it in a digital pre order, okay? In the PlayStation 4 here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right behind that, that pool there. Okay, so anyway, originally I had it, okay? And then everything else has said, nope, we'll give you the money back. Refund, because. It's delayed. It's de- delayed. So, <sighs> and originally, at the time, Final Fantasy VII wasn't delayed either. Mm-hmm. And until we got the announcement in February that it was, so it was kind of a backstab to poor Ethan. Yes, so now I'll be waiting for the game as well. Yeah, so unfortunately, poor Ethan here is going to have to wait to get his hands on Doom Eternal. But for what I've heard so far, it seems to be a phenomenal game. Well, I noticed it is going to be a phenomenal game. Of course I noticed that. Uh, but anyways, back to Animal Crossing, as Ethan was saying. I've been playing a lot of it recent, recently, and it actually is a pretty fun game. I'm not going to lie. lie. Um, um, of course, if you want to check out check out my island, island, if you have me on my on your friends list or need to look for me, uh, I will share my Dodo code right below the screen so you can visit me when I'm on. Uh, and if you... Um, Hang on a second, folks. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, so let's just go on and... Okay, guys. So we're just going to review, like, things we talked about for, for now. Sorry, because we got some little delay there right now. So, anyway. Yeah. So, as for you guys, so far, what you hear so far. What do you think of those, those what we said so far in this, in this video? <clears throat> Tell me, guys. If you guys are really, what what certain games that you guys are hyped for for this year? And hopefully, guys, let's get this stupid fires over with. Come on, team, we gotta push forward. Don't let anything stop us. That's all I can say. So, okay, speaking of which, MC's coming back. All right, sorry about that, guys. But anyways, yeah, I will share my duo code right below here. And you guys can check me out when I'm on. On, uh, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, and if you need, and if I need some help, I'll ask you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so definitely be sure to check out Animal Crossing, uh, Crossing New Leaf. If you haven't, I mean New Horizons. If you haven't already tried it, um, let me see. Oh, speaking of games, 
ga uh, games just recently. Also, Fantasy Star Online 2 just launched its open beta. And I gotta say, it is pretty impressive. I love this game to death. I love the closed beta. This open beta is so great. Eight. Um, I'm p currently part of a uh, alliance alliance in the Discord I'm in. So, uh, yeah, I really have enjoyed enjoyed uh, Fantasy Star Online 2. Um, and uh, yeah. And honestly, I did try out the game myself for Xbox. Um, and honestly, it is one of those games out there that I liked when I played the game. I didn't play that much, but but hey, I played some of it. And it's really good. It may be not my fair one of the whole time because to be fair I gotta play more and see but so far my expression I like it so far yeah uh so for those who are wondering wondering Xbox has said it's probably gonna roll out the edit system very soon here it's only launching on Xbox because well Microsoft offered to help with the localization so yeah of course it's coming to Xbox first <laughs> uh so yeah but there's been a couple of bugs here and there there was one so Again, it's a beta. Expected. Uh, so, patience. Patience. Uh, but either way, it has been a great m month for Fantasy Star Online so far. Uh, they haven't announced too much outside the two weeks. They already listed for open beta. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm taking a small break from Fantasy Star Online because I've been grinding like heck these last couple days. So, I need a little break. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it is a great game so far. Currently, the open beta is only on Xbox. It's not even on PC yet. So that mm -hmm. and that says a lot because that's Microsoft's platform. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah. Uh, but either way, it should be coming to PlayStation and Switch more than likely. It's gonna be waiting on PlayStation until five comes out. Uh, but Switch more than likely, hopefully, it's probably gonna be second. Um, uh, very soon. Soon. So hopefully we'll see it soon. But who knows? Thanks to this virus, when. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, that's all the. Let me see. Is there any other games that we played recently? Yes, we have. Of course, we got a couple of funny games that we played recently. This this during our lockdown. Let's yeah. go over one certain game. If I can find it, let's talk about this one first. Yes. So, as you guys have noticed, me and Ethan on the channel have been recording some gameplay for you guys during our lockdown since we know know how it feels to be cooped up up in, uh, cooped up in your own house with nothing to do. So, we decided that uh, for the rest of these weeks, we'll try to entertain you guys with a couple video videos to keep you guys busy. And one of those games was Street Fighter V. Yup, Champion Edition. Recently, I did get that addition to the game, so you know... I tried several characters. I even tried Gil. Okay, guys. My expression about Gil. I played him. He's a good character. I like him as a character, okay? Honestly, he's easy to master. He's easy to, to learn his movesets. But it's hard to master against the pros and the computers are that tough. But I gotta say, I like him as a character. But to the point, I still need to play him more so I can get used to him. So, I do like him. Okay? I like Gil. He was from Street Fighter 3, boss. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. There's a few stages were really good, and I already have another favorite stage I like in that game. Something to do with uh, Sons of Chaos or something? Uh, Sun Chase Moon. That's it. That one is becoming one of my favorite stages. And that place... I don't think it is in Street Fighter 3, but it just becomes an original stage for Gil. Really. Yeah. And last, we're wrong. Correct us in the comments below if we are wrong. I mean, me and Ethan have played every single Street Fighter game to date now, but uh, still lacking on the knowledge. <laughs> so uh, feel free to correct us if we're wrong. Yes. And of course, we've been playing arcade and uh, we first see each other. And so. And I, I do have another character I actually tried to is Ed. Ed. Let's say when I tried him the first time, I seen him when I faced him for arcade, of course. He is that amazing. I don't know how amazing he was. He's like a boxer, okay? So he has boxing moves, I noticed. But in general, he's not 
the full time boxer. He uses his legs too. Exactly. He's not like Balak, who is uh, definitely a full time boxer. Uh, he's, I guess. Sheesh. I can't really make any comparison to any other video game character I can imagine. And Little Max is the only other example I can think of. And he doesn't even use his legs. Yup. Or even Hachin, uh, or even Ippo from the anime. He only uses his punching gloves in the anime, too. Hachin no Hippo, by the way, is what Ethan's talking about. The anime, yes. Uh, so... So, to be honest with you, when I tried him, he's so good, honestly, guys. He's actually easy to master, I noticed. And now... I'll tell you something. He is my one of my new favorite characters, even though he's technically M. Bison's doll. Like, like, Hedgeman's. Yeah. Uh, but that's it, fairly even. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so definitely check out some gameplay from Street Fighter. Uh, of course, course, I still have po yet to post some stuff for Ryu, uh, Ryu, but um, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll uh, get into that. Uh, then, Ethan and I played a little bit, well, well, Ethan played most of it, but Ethan and I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat 11. Which I have right here. I got back to it because I figured, well, since it's been a while I played this game when it first launched last year. So, there is good news though. I did manage to get three DLC characters. Because I figured, eh, try them out, you know? Yep. Uh, but, um... Um, yeah, we like like Street Fighter. We did the versus mode, and then Ethan did classic towers. But I should warn you right now, Ethan bleeds through everything but the final boss, which kicked his ass. Uh, mm. uh, I mean, but to say but, but off script. Uh, Sorry about that, guys. Uh, kicked his butt several times. Uh, yeah, it wasn't pretty. But good news, he did beat him off screen. But yeah. but uh <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole thirty five minute mi a whole probably ten plus minutes. Even bleeds through everything else else. He even he struggled a little bit with a couple of the characters, but other than that he didn't kick he didn't kick his butt too much. Mm-hmm. True. So anyway, I can tell you this much guys, before we get to the rest of the, the some of the stuff from one certain character later because this is dumb to it, not game related. I'll say this, say this. Okay, I'll wait until MC gets back. Yeah. Okay, guys. For now, we're just gonna wait. Sit patient, because we have. Yeah. So d d just don't ask any questions. <laughs> it's always like this. While we're here in this recording, you guys know how this goes. Well, for the time being, I could go over in several things real quick. We go ahead and uh, talk about what I have for characters and stuff. Let's go over the things that I found in the article, of course. Let's do that, okay? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, guys. Let's say Platinum Games <clears throat> to make Final Platinum 4 announcement on April 1st. Okay, guys. So, the article I found is from Tendo Everything on Twitter. Okay, guys. What do you think what's going to get announced that, that day? Is it going to be Beta 3? We've been waiting for a long time. Our new project. We don't know yet. But I do know this. What, the wonderful 101... He's actually coming to Nintendo Switch. There should be coming out of the other consoles too. I'm not so sure. I gotta remember. So anyway, yeah. So I do know for a fact that the Platinum Games is already putting out the wonderful 101 already. So if you guys are looking forward to it, <clears throat> what are you waiting for? Go get in the pre-orders you when you can. Okay, so let's see. Okay, guys. This is something that I gotta tell you this right now, real quick. S warning, spoiler alert, for those of you who didn't catch up the Mayogi Denya, the Heroes Rising movie. This is gonna be a little bit spoiled coming on. Alright, anyway, let's, let's talk about that later. 
I was just catching up the fans, some of them real quick while you're gone. See? Uh, what were you catching them up on? Platinum Games announcements. Oh, okay. Wait, there was a Platinum Game announcement and I missed it? Uh, no. We, we You know about it. It's this one right here. Oh, by the one that's coming April 1st. Prediction real quick. <laughs> Calling it Bayonetta 3. <laughs> yeah, I was telling the I was telling the fans what they they think. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, so definitely, uh, definitely, um, yeah, the classic talent, poor Ethan. Okay, guys, before we get to that, let's talk about the characters I tried. Three characters I tried in Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, so the first character I did try is Spawn. Spawn. I learned him pretty, pretty well right now. Let's say what I learned, he's not part of DC or Marvel. Because this guy named Todd or something, I can't say his last name, I'm sorry. But he's a creator of the, of the comics books for him. He used to be with Marvel, I remember. And then when he got off of that company, he created his own, created his own, um, his own character, one of his own characters in comic books. Spud is one of them. So, and I'll tell you this, because he's a company from Image Comics. So, technically, he's not part of D DC or Marvel. And I know, it's confusing. I was confused at first myself. But anyway, let's get back to what we'll talk about how I played him, okay? Sorry. I will talk about that more once we get to the other stuff why I checked out. Okay? So, okay, so right now, when I try Spud... In the game, with Mortal Kombat 11, I'll tell you something. Wow. I was that impressed how that, how that character played in the game. I was impressed, okay? Uh, I think it was Ed Boom, was it, for a Mortal Kombat creator? Let's say he made a good idea to put Spawn in there because Spawn, unfortunately... All right, we'll hold up again. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, we got so many things going on in the house. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, we'll hold that up until MC gets back. Okay? We'll hold that up. Sorry about that again guys. <laughs> no worries, I'm holding up for the fans. So anyway, unfortunately though, Spawn, he hasn't been mentioned so much lately. So that is a good idea to put him as a DLC character in Mortal Kombat. And by the way, he's the latest character in the DLC for Mortal Kombat 11. So what I can tell you so far, I like the way he plays in the game. Or even his final blow and all that. And turns out, it's official. He's one of my favorite characters. Man, people. It, I don't know how you do that. But don't worry, he's not part of Marvel or DC, is what I learned. At least until someone buys the by survives off, off of that guy. <laughs> I know. It's kind of confusing because he's more like, he got into some crosswords with DC, I noticed. But to, to make it clear, as for my knowledge, he's not part of Marvel or DC, as what I learned. If, you, if Ethan is incorrect... Please feel free to correct him in the comments below, superhero fans, but that's from what he's learned, so don't yell at him, please. Yeah, so, to, to be honest with you guys, there is other characters I did try, is Nightwolf and Joker. DC's Joker, not Joker from Persona 5. Make that clear, okay? In this channel, make that clear this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we mentioned Joker a lot, but... When we usually mention Joker, it's about Persona 5, 5's Joker. Uh, but this time we specifically mean DC's Joker. Which is where Batman's from. Yeah. So, uh, Ethan's opinion on that one. Let's just say Joker, but I played him. I hate to tell you the truth, but he's hard to play. For those who managed to master him, good for you. But as for me, Joker's not my fair character to play as in the game, unfortunately. That's fair. But the other character I did play, Nightwolf. He's, he's a kind of interesting character to play as. 
He's not that hard to master, honestly. But he is but he is gonna be a little bit hard to master. But I'll tell you this though. He is in second place I like so far. But for the time being, Spawn is definitely my favorite DLC DLC character in, in Mortal Kombat. Yep. Alright. And the third get uh now the third and fourth games we played were both so caliber. Wait, wait, wait. I have it. Soul Calibur 4 and Soul Calibur 6. Yup. So, yeah. Uh, now, for, now, for Soul Calibur 4, uh, I managed, I recorded some gameplay for the uh, uh, K-Mode. Oh, and let's just say, it was pretty good. Uh, good uh, to play it again. But sheesh, sheesh, I forgot how star, hard Star Killer is sometimes. But I did want to tell you guys, I didn't record this, unfortunately. But I did beat him on my first try. On my first try. His first try. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't happen often. Uh, uh, often. And mind you, Star Killer has given a lot of people trouble. I'm pretty sure the professionals have even struggled to get past him. That's him in casual playthroughs, so <laughs> that says a lot. We're talking Star Killer. He was an original character from the series called Star Wars: The Force Unleashed series, which is back in the Wii PlayStation 2 Xbox 360 era. Yeah. So, um, oh, you should. Oh, we should say, AKA the Apprentice. But. I mean, if you prefer to call him Star Killer. Because in their actual game, Force Unleash, I call him Star Killer because that makes sense in his own name. Yeah, it was basically that. But yeah, if you haven't played Soul Calibur 4, warning. Yeah. <laughs> Arcade mode, Star Killer! <laughs> He's gonna kick your butt if you're not careful. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now. You probably remember way, 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 way back in the beginning days of my channel channel that me and Ethan did record, record gameplay together of uh, us facing Starkiller. Gotta say, back then... Yeah, that one sucked. Yeah. Uh, to this day, uh, but... When I re-recorded my gameplay and posted my very first video gameplay video of this year, it was a redo of it. Star Killer still kicked my butt, but I actually managed to get past him in lesser tries than my previous recording. And I did re-record re-record him, record him, but I didn't get past him this time, unfortunately, because we'll be we've been trying to limit how many tries we redo for our videos. Yeah. Uh, as for Ethan, I got good news for you, buddy. Uh, video uh, the file collected, so I don't have to post your arcade mode for SoCal before. That's a relief. Okay, that's a long story short, okay? Let's just say I have a most embarrassment time like I did before the last time. Yep. If, uh, it seems like Ethan's gotten too used to playing fighting games on PlayStation, unfortunately. Uh, so badly that it, <laughs> he forgot to, how to use... Xbox 360 controller. Which is what we originally played this on. So, unfortunately, Ethan completely sucked. To the point where he needed train mode to train. Or even my complaints. I want Grano, which is from Soul Calibur 6. Or even a, or even a port to the PlayStation 4. Or PlayStation 5, whatever. In the future. Because that way, it's easier for me. My problem is, Bernard Nuggo, you're stubborn. That's all I can say. <laughs> Maybe we'll get pointed to Xbox, 3, uh, Xbox 360 from the backwards compatibility program once Xbox Series X launches, but, 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 but for the top, so you can at least play with a modern Xbox controller. But I could say this, though, guys. It is still one of my fair games in the Soul Calibur series. That's not because I don't like the game. Okay, maybe because I have trouble, okay? It is much more better on difficulty than Soul Calibur 6. Because Soul Calibur 6... It's, it helps for the beginners. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely, I will say say that. Or even, well, we'll get to that in a minute, but yeah. Like it, like I said, 
Uh, luckily, Ethan file was corrupted, so Ethan doesn't have to go through the embarrassment. embarrassment of show, uh, I don't have to go through the embarrassment of showing off this gameplay. Oh, man. I'll tell you guys, I had, I had so bad that I had to like make the controls are like Soul Calibur 6 in my PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah, that's how bad it was. Now, speaking of Soul Calibur 6, let's move on to that. Now, that Actually, one... I think there was an announcement about that game today, I noticed. Huh? But I should get it over with. Huh? Okay, so what I saw today, the character is coming to Soul Calibur 6 is coming. Name Hog Mermu, which is from the main character from Semi Soul Down, okay? And guess when he's coming for the DLC? March 31st. Whoa, that's next week! Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. Well, then you can definitely expect to see gameplay from both me and Ethan. Ethan, Ethan then. Then. And we'll have the season... Uh, because I have the season pass on here, so... Yep. Yep, but I don't have the season pass for it, but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be in this game, the Soul Calibur 6. So, yeah. D uh, definitely be sure to stay tuned for gameplay of that, but, uh... Yeah, speaking of Soul Calibur 6, so me and Ethan did face off in Soul Calibur 6 against each other, just like we did with Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Uh, not gonna lie, I got close a couple times, but Ethan still kicked my butt. <laughs> As per usual. Uh, but then Ethan tried to, um, then Ethan and I played through our separate arcade modes. I played on Xbox, he played on PlayStation. Gotta say... Uh, I struggled a little bit, but I got through mine, but Ethan, he breezed through it, and he was playing on hard mode. Yes, because I, I figured it's too, like, a medium-ish mode for me. Yeah, no kidding, kidding. He even, even beat it on legendary once. With, what? with my favorite main, Greno. And mind you, Legendary's a hard mode. I even do it without Inferno. Inferno's a one of the power characters, okay? But I'll tell you this much. You guys already know, I already found myself a favorite Soul Calibur character and also a main old time in the Soul Calibur series. He's the new character to the series. But the problem is, I'm sorry, but because I tried Sephiroth, okay? He's one of the main characters in the series. I'm sorry, because he's all overpowered when you use him. It is easy to get through. Now, don't don't get anything wrong. He still likes the character, for sure. I do. But, mm, could you know him a lot, Bandai? Like a whole bunch? This is why I have trouble finding Soul Calibur characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of got off on the easy foot with this one. This one, Ethan ha Ethan's had a harder time with Soul Calibur out of all the fighting games we played. So, yeah, that's what we've been up to lately in terms of gameplay gameplay now um coming up in the next week we'll possibly be doing a couple live streams and we'll also be showing off more fighting gameplay this weekend of these what are our plans actually yep of these three games uh we will be playing jump force yep i'll be doing online on my on my PlayStation 4 here. And will we be covering Dead or Alive 6 on our respective systems? Um, I will be playing on Xbox, uh, Xbox One, and Ethan will be playing on PlayStation 4, and we will be showing off. Obviously, we'll face each other. Yep, and another game, guys. I was thinking to see if what I can do. I was just thinking right now. Okay, if you guys want Tekken 6 gameplay, if you want. I don't know if we still have it, of course. I still have Te Tekken 6. Okay, so if you guys want Tekken 6 from me, let me know, because I'll be willing to do arcade for that game. Exactly. Um, also, in addition to that, we also have Samurai Showdown for Xbox and uh, uh, Xbox and PlayStation. So if you want me and Ethan to cover that one as well, that would be great. But uh, if that's the case, then me and Ethan are going to need to practice, because... Uh, uh, or it could be these two games here. Those we are have fighting games. We have uh, new to uh, we have new Uto alternate uh, Storm. Ninja Storm Four and Samurai Showdown. But if we do do Samurai Showdown, just a warning. Me we gotta and, redo it. Yeah, because me and Ethan, <laughs> we gotta suck at that one. Oh, because we're new to the series. Okay, just give us raw. Just don't, just don't bash us. I have to be honest with you, this is like my only favorite favorite of all NCK games. Yeah, at the moment. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and mind you, this is the first 3D installment for uh, for the series. The rest of the installments are 2D, which is a little harder for Ethan to get into. I can get into them no problem, but outside of Street Fighter, it's just harder for Ethan. So, or even Tekken or Soul Calibur, all those good games. Yeah. So um, yeah. But let us know. Uh, we have plenty of Smash coverage, unfortunately. So uh, that one's off the table. Yep. Uh, but of course. Of course, speaking of which, uh, we will be cha- uh, let's transition into gaming news. News. Uh, we have quite a bit of gaming news to talk about, including info on Xbox One, One Series X. Yeah, we just cover up a Soul Calibur news, so I don't have to say that again. Uh, PlayStation Five. Okay, let's get this over with before the fans go. What? And, obviously, like I said, Nintendo Direct Mini just dropped, so we'll be talking about that, too. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, might have to split this part, too, into two parts. <laughs> We're almost at 55 minutes. Sorry, guys. Yeah, okay, hang on. <laughs> 